Can you give me a second? My dogs won't shut up. I need to go find out what's going on. Sorry. Very sorry about that. You're good. I can't promise you if they're going to be quiet the rest of the time, but I'll do my oh, best. I, I got dogs. Three of them, but... All right, well, I got seven of them. They're driving me crazy right now. Okay. So a couple of things before we get started. One, this is being recorded, so you know that. Um, number two, I'll ask you at the end when we're done, if you're okay with me sharing it, portions of it to show other people how we do support. Okay. Um, so with that said, I'm going to send you, I'm going to walk you through what we need to do here. How familiar with you Zoom and all that kind of stuff? Zoom's uh, new to me, but. Okay. All right, fine. So basically you're going to find an icon there that says uh, share screen. I need you to try to find that screen, try to find it maybe at the bottom of your, uh, what you're looking at. Oh, got it. Got it. Okay, I need you to click that, please. And then what's going to happen is as soon as we start sharing the screen, I'm going to request admin control. Okay. <sighs> And when it asks you what screen, make sure you select your main screen, okay? Okay. Do advanced filters or something? Uh, no, when you do share screen and you should be able to select your desktop and then click share in the bottom right. I think it's the bottom right. That yep, one? There you go. Perfect. Okay, so it says screen sharing has started. Okay, now I see your screen. Now I'm going to send a request for admin. So I need you to basic or to sorry request control, not admin control. Okay, now let go of the mouse and I'm going to take it from here. There will only be a few instances where I need you to, to click because it requires admin approval and it doesn't give me that. Okay, so uh, let's see. We have. I'm going to look around your screen here and try to find where is your, um, oh my gosh, I've totally lost my mind. Where's your companion, uh, the um, OpenTX companion? Do you have that on here? Yeah, I do. It's, uh, oh no, I deleted it. I was trying to. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to take the mouse and get it again, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So is it in your downloads folder or no? cleared it so you got to redown okay. the whole thing okay that's fine that's fine i was going back and forth i couldn't no fix it and i was like i delayed everything can you hold up your radio for me so i can see the radio that we're working with i don't know if you heard what i said yeah can i see your radio yeah so that is the uh x9 light yeah access edition okay perfect Okay, so let me go here. I'm waiting because I'm getting a little bit of lag on our connection. So, uh, okay, so let's go. It's going to look like I'm flying all over the place, but that's just because it's catching up with me. I'm not screwing around, I promise. Uh, okay, so let's get down here and let's go here. Okay. Is it the S or the standard? Uh, standard. Okay. And just for your information, Whatever I did, it's not booting up anymore. No, that's fine. We'll do our best to try to get this to work. 
uh, and fix it remotely. Okay, so there'll be a couple things. I mean, uh, the downloads look like they're taking a little bit long. I'm a little surprised at that. So I don't know if it's, uh, is this a VPN here or what is that? Yeah. Oh, that's the same one I use. I know that very well. <laughs> it's, it's NordVPN's awesome. Are you running through the VPN right now? Yeah, turn it off. Yeah, could, you go ahead and do that part. Just turn it off in case their servers are running slow. Okay. Yeah, I like NordVPN. It's my favorite one to use. So definitely I'm a fan of that. Okay, so we're just gonna just start this again. See if we can get it to download faster. Uh, yeah, it, it, you can see now it's like three minutes versus 33 minutes. So it looks like it's going faster, but now it may slow down. I don't know. So even if it does, that's fine. We're just gonna go back here. It'll probably pick up once I quit moving around on this thing. Uh, so I'm going to download this as well, but it does look like you have a little bit better speed this way. So, <clears throat> all right, we'll wait for that to start as well. So these two downloads should be going, uh, hopefully here. There it goes. Okay. Okay. Um, on your radio, you have been able to connect to OpenTX before or no? No, well, that's the reason I was, um, I was going through the internet and it was saying, um, uh, uh, um, the bootloader was, bootloader was never installed in this computer. Okay, can you um, can you do me a favor? Now, this is where you're probably going to have to take over on a few of these. Uh, oh, shoot, that jumped up to three hours. Well, that's not going to happen. We'll just give it a second here. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening, but it looks like it's just a minor. It may be their site, too. Sometimes their site runs slow, and we may use OpenTX for it. Uh, so, And I may have this one already anyway. So we'll see if this picks up. I don't, uh, you know what? I'm just going to tell it to cancel. I don't want to wait for that one. That's the least of my problems right there. So I'm not going to worry about that one. Um, I, I, what I am going to do though, is I'm going to go ahead now and we're going to go into your uh, control panel here. And this is where you may have to, when certain screens are open, it'll freeze the mouse on me. I won't be able to use it. So um, bear with me here if it does that. Okay, so we're going to go, once I open device manager, my rights on this thing are pretty much done. So I'm gonna need you to scroll for me. So here's what I need you to do. The first thing I need you to do is, well, we'll wait for it to come up. Okay, I need you to go ahead and plug your radio in while the power's off. Just go ahead and plug it into the computer. Okay, I, I need you to now take the mount. Oh, there you go, perfect. Um, do you see me moving the mouse at all or no? No. Okay, that's fine. I need you to move, oh, okay, well, that's that's great. Okay, so stay there, perfect. So um, here's what I need to do next. Uh, okay, uh, minimize that screen for me. Yep. Okay, now I can use the mouse again. So now I can go to, uh, actually, let me do this. Um, Okay, when this program runs, it's going to, I think, give you a screen that I won't be able to see. Uh, and you'll verify that here. I see you've already downloaded it once. I think it says number two on it. Do you, does your screen change at all yet? Or it will maybe ask you to permit? Okay, I don't think I can control this here. 
So can you click options for me real quick? Click list all devices. Drop down to STM bootloader, please. Okay, and now click reinstall driver. And just wait. Cool. Can you click close for me? And then click the X to close the program down. Awesome. Now I think I can take this part from here. So let's get going with this. Now you may be prompted again. Okay, if you'll go ahead and just approve whatever it's asking you. Okay, now let me see. I think I can take it from here. Maybe not. You go ahead and click next. Go ahead again. What happened? No, oh, sorry. I don't know what's happening. Just click next again. I just click okay. next, okay. Yeah, click again. And again. Oh, you, uh, uh, current oh. user's fine. It doesn't matter. Whichever one you want. Okay, go ahead and click finish. All right, I'm gonna minimize the screen here. Um, I've never seen that screen. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and click do not import. Okay, so I'm gonna minimize this here. And then if you don't mind what I'm gonna do, and you can always change it, but just, to, just for me to make it easier, I'm gonna organize the files here that so that I know where we're going. Okay. So, um, okay. So great, great, great. Oh, hold on. Uh, no, uh, do not. So click no. no. Click no. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, click yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, click, can I, does my, there we go. Okay. So that's doing that. Let me go back over here. Well, I guess this isn't going to let me do anything. Okay, I need to figure out. Uh, oh, um, there you go. Okay, that may work. Let me see now if I can. I don't have. Oh, hold on. Something's installing. That's what's going on. Oh, okay, okay. That should be okay. Meeting controls. It's asking for some. Well, here, what I'll do is I'll end my control uh, and then I'm going to ask for it again. Okay. Let's see if that helps. So I'm requesting it again. Okay. Let's see if it lets me, and it could very well be, see how your device manager is open. Can you go yeah. ahead and just go to your device manager and close it? Okay. Now that may release everything. Give me a chance to control the screen, but right now I'm not getting. Okay. Let's close, uh, we're gonna close OpenTX real quick. Can you close OpenTX for me, please? Okay, now let's see if I can get any control again. Okay, I can in the folder, so that's good. So I'm gonna go to your downloads folder. 
and I'm going to make a new folder. Again, you can change it all later. I'm just going to. Uh, You're good. I'll be back. I'm going to see, see if my nephew's on the computer. You say that again? I'm going to go see if my nephew's on the computer. And okay. Turn it off. Okay. means that he's got it down here again. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoops, I'm on a Mac here. So sometimes the keys I hit don't correspond, but I'm gonna clean up a few things here just so that I only keep the files that I know we need. Uh, okay. Oh, there's an SD card. <laughs> yeah, I see that now. I'm like, well, there's that. I don't know if that's the same version, but I sure hope it is. No, it's not the newest version. That's like- no, it's not, right? okay. Um, I'm looking, this, this concerns me. Uh, let me show you. I don't like this at all. I wish people wouldn't use this. This is terrible. Um, really? And, it, and it really can jack up the drivers on the machine. So now that I see it, I'm going, okay, and this is okay. But again, so I'm going to only because I know these are not needed right now. I'm just going to get rid of all of these things, especially because they seem like they're just multiples of multiples. <laughs> so let me clean all that. And then um, I think I just put that one in my folder. Yeah. So I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, configurator will leave. Uh, let's see. Uh, I just saw more of it. So let me go back up here. Let me go here. One, delete, and then. The updates that you downloaded here were for, for, for what exactly? Uh, the 2.1, the 2.0, okay. point 0.2, the, the 2.19. I was I just trying to, I'll try to get the bootloader on. Okay. I'm not sure what this English American Tyrannus is. Is this the is this an audio file? Yeah, that's from um you can delete it. That's um okay. that's something else. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll take that out then. Okay, so I think that basically, I mean everything's in your trash bin. I'll let you empty that, but I think basically for now I'm in a good spot here to at least get started. So now uh what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can. I think that's what we just downloaded. So let me see if I can put this here. 
Does it not let me drop it? No, I guess not. Oh, yeah, it did. Okay. All right, so let's open OpenTX. All right, now, again, you can uh, change this as you go, but for right now, I'm going to do it this way. So let's see if I can make this uh, file here. So let's do this one. And we're going to call this uh, transmitter. Oh my gosh, my typing today is not that great. Wonderful. Okay. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll go in here and we'll call it X9 Delight. Okay. We'll go in here, make a new folder. Okay. Go here, go to settings. And in the device manager, there's an SD card ready. Okay. If we need one. It's 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 in the computer, like inserted into the computer. Oh, perfect. Okay. All right. So I think here uh, only stable releases. Okay, automatic backup folder. Go back here. And the reason that backup folder is outside the X9 Lite folder is because it's actually one backup in case you add another radio. There's only one folder. So um, for all the radios, and I didn't realize that when I first started doing this. So I kept putting a backup folder and it kept moving it to every. So, anyways, I'm going to save you that hassle. Um, all right. So I'm going to click OK there. And now we should be able to, it should say we haven't downloaded it. So it should prompt me. Here we go. Never Do you want to download it? Yes. All right, so X9 Lite, and we're going to go to our downloads folder, and we're going to go to our Cyclone FPV, and we get transmitter, X9 Lite. Uh, and I'm going to make a folder here. Well, I'm just going to save it here for the time being. Click save. Nope. Okay, while that's downloading, which eh, it's going, let me. It's still taking a while. Let me see if I have it. I may, if I have it, I may put the link here and just get it from my server. So hold on one second. Who's that? Oh, hey, babe. Hey, mama, can I have a coffee when you get a chance? Thanks, babe. Okay, so let me go. I'm while that's downloading, I'm gonna switch over to my machine. So you're not gonna see me move anything for just a second. Um, let me see if I can find this. If I can find this, this would be really good. Um, it would be really nice and quick if this thing works. Okay, software downloads. Uh, come on, I know it's here somewhere. It may not be. Come on. 
how long is it saying? 24 minutes, that should pick up open-tx.org. Uh, SD card, uh, X9 white, and there we go. Yeah, it's their site because I'm doing the same thing and it's creeping slow. So uh, let we'll let that go for a minute because that's not mine. Showing 18 minutes or showing 20, we're about the same. So it's it's definitely not you. It's there, them. So while that's happening, uh, what I'd like to do now, I can minimize this. Okay. All right. So here's the deal. I need to know now when you, you've got the stuff plugged in. So I'm going to click OK here. And now I'm going to try to see if we can detect your radio at all. That's what I thought. Okay, the good news is we can see your radio. The bad news is the firmware's uh, screwy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. It's the X9 Lite. So what it looks like is that the wrong firmware was loaded on that radio. So we're gonna click show details. Me. And now we're gonna watch it write the bootloader, okay? By writing to the bootloader, th thanks babe. Wow, that was quick, thank you very much. Uh, by writing to the bootloader, this should get you past that lock point, and then we're going to repair everything else inside. Okay. Yeah, when I received the, when I, when I, I bought it from somebody else, when I got it, it booted up, but whatever I did, I did something. Yeah, I mean, what it looks like is it looks like it, X9, it looks like you loaded the X9D. Well, let me put it like this. When I first started the program up, it came up with an X9D. Okay, well, the X9 line and the X9D are very much, very close to the line there of options. So there's a good chance you loaded the X9D firmware, not the X9 Lite firmware. And so, so what happens is when I, when I told it right now to flash, it says it's not compatible because there's a compatibility check there. Well, mine should have worked, which means that there's something on there that was not X9 Lite firmware. So, so now I remove the check compatibility so it can pass that error. So what it'll do now is it'll force the firmware. So here's what I'd like you to do now. I'd like you to unplug the radio from the computer. And I'd like you to ho just hold it up and turn it to me while you press the power button. But let me see the screen, okay? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've never did that before. Now we're cooking, let go, there you go. We're cooking with grease. Okay, now we're working. So step, yeah, we one, are. step one is now done, okay? But it's not fixed yet. There's still problems there. So the next thing I need to do is now go ahead and hold the power button down and shut the whole thing down real quick. You may have to take the battery out for the next step. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, you fixed something. I tried. Okay, is the power off? Power's off. Okay, so we're still waiting on your SD card, which has about 16, 20, whatever. Um, in the meantime, what we're going to do now is I need you to, you know how you hold the two sub trims and you press the power button and let it go. I need you to do that without the USB plugged in. So can you do that real quick and then show me the screen? There we go. That's the first time I've ever done that. Beautiful. Go ahead and plug your cable in now. That's the first time I've been able to do that. That's what I was trying to get to. My eyes are bad. So am I. I feel your pain. Okay. Okay. We're going to wait a minute because it's got to detect the internal. There's the internal right there. Okay. So we're going to close that. Um, and what we're going to do now is now we are going to overwrite the rest of the firmware that was put on that radio. So you see how this is not checked right now? Normally, this should be checked. You, from, from this point forward, when I'm done, that box needs to be checked so that wrong firmware never gets put back on. But right now I need to kind of force a new firmware on there. So I'm gonna leave it off. So I'm gonna click right to TX and this should go pretty quick. Okay, so that point, yeah, it's done. I mean, it's very quick. Um, don't worry about that, that happens. Okay, now I'm gonna click close. 
All right, now what's going to happen is I'm going to do a safe eject here whenever I can get this to open. There we go. Right click and then I'm going to eject that. Okay, unplug the USB. You should see the menu on your screen come up now. Click egg, go down to exit. Okay, now let me see that screen real quick. Let's see what we got. Oh, I never, I never pressed exit yet. Oh, sorry. Go ahead and hit enter to press exit. Yeah, accept the exit real quick. Okay, now let's see what happens here. <clears throat> you have a memory card in that radio? No, I took it. I got it right, right on the computer. Okay. Um, perfect. Hit exit. Hit exit on your buttons on the bottom left button there. Keep tapping it until you get to the main screen. Oh, you look at you. You are now back in business. Okay, so what we need to do now is, okay, you're good on that one, all right? So the radio is now set somewhat. Now we've got to get the SD card contents. So um, that SD card that you have, yeah, go ahead and insert that into the computer for me. Okay, now there's nothing on here you need? Nope. Okay. So let me go back. Okay, that's not gonna get me back, so let me do it this way. Do you, me, do you want me to open Vice Manager? Oh, yeah. Well, no, it's okay. There's just a delay, and I'm, I keep forgetting that we're on it. So I clicked it, and I'm like, it did take, then it did take, and it's driving me nuts. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and format this real quick. I'm trying to remember. Have you ever seen this card read in that radio? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. It reads. It reads fine. So okay, this is. It's what's funny to me is I've never tried to run a 32 gig. I've always down down them to 16 gigs, so that's why I was asking. You. So 32 gig ran fine in your radio with no problem. Yep. Okay. Okay. So let's close that. All right. Now I need to see where are we at on this. Now nah, we're almost halfway there. Okay. Um, all right. So while we're doing that, are you flying a Mobula? Yeah, I've never flown yet on this one. Okay. So here's the deal. While that's downloading, I'm gonna to try to help you out with a few things here. The first thing is, um, let me see how it is. Okay, I want you to go ahead now and make sure your radio's off and do the little sub trims and the power button again, and then plug in the USB so I can connect okay. it to, so I can connect it to um, OpenTX. Uh, one thing though, one, one thing before you do that, can you, before you turn it on, can you please put your memory stick now in the radio for me? Oh, okay. You want a bootloader, right? Where did my screen go? Uh, turn it on normal for right now. I wanted to. I wanted to detect your SD card. Oh, I, I, nothing's on. I just. I just. Okay. Inserted. Okay. So take the. Yeah, you have to unplug the USB first. You can't go into bootloader while the USB is plugged in. So take the USB out. And now just power on the radio like normal. Okay, let's wait for it to get booted up. You're going to get some screen there. Okay, when you get to the screen, yeah, just hit exit and exit until you get to your main screen. I wanted to make sure it was booting up faster, and it is. Uh, perfect. Okay, now, um, now power it down. Go ahead and turn it off.
Okay, now put it in bootloader mode and plug in the USB. Once you get to that uh, menu screen, then plug in the USB. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to read the models that you have on your radio. I want to see what you've got set up. Uh, it should show your modula. Okay. Let's close that. All right. So here's the modula. That's actually number two for some reason. So let's, I don't know if you could drag this. Can you drag it? I guess you can. Okay. Um, well, that's cool. I didn't make you do that. I'm just going to look over the settings here. It says you got about nine minutes for your download. So I'm going to just look and make sure everything else is set right. So you haven't set your switches or anything yet. Is that, is that correct? No, no. Okay. I, was, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I usually set that on through a beta flight. I couldn't get it. Okay. So we have TAER. That's your setup. So in beta flight, when you go do this, select TAER under your receiver tab. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here now and uh, try to set up your input. So we're going to call this one. Okay. So I don't know if this is going to work like it does when you do it at the radio level. We're going to try this though. Okay. So I'm going to call this arm and arm. Now on the source, can you tell me on your radio, can you flip a switch real quick? I want to see if it recognizes it. It doesn't. Okay. Show me which one that's S a correct. Yeah. Okay. So let me put, there it is. That's, whoops. Hold on. Let me go find that. SA. Okay. And we don't need trim. No. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 And we're going to say, okay. Okay. Now for your mode, which switch do you want to use for mode? Just tell me the letter. I'll do it from here. Um, I don't know which letter it is on these. Days. Okay. So it's, here's the four on the top is SA, SB. That's SB. Okay. Okay. SD. Yeah, it's B as in, yeah, SB as in boy. So we'll do SB. Okay, we don't need trim. Okay, click okay. Okay, now the next one will be, uh, you can have for like a fail safe um, or a buzzer or whatever you want. What would you prefer? What would you like? Uh, is that the last one? Okay, that's, that's okay. Last so one to the right. I, I want to say that even with that dial, that's S, A, B, C, D. I think that's D. So we're going to go with D. That's um, fine. I can and that'll be your, I'll name that, but, I'll name in here fail. And that'll be your fail safe uh, that you can, you know, you can do whatever you want with that one, buzzer or anything. Okay, S, D. Okay, uh, let's do that. Okay, we don't need trim. No, no, okay. No, okay. All right, so that part set up. Now we're going to go to your mixes and we're going to okay. say, Channel five is, oh, it's already, that's cool. When you do it from the computer, it does it automatically. That's neat. Um, but this should not have the, this should be, let me see where, where is it? Okay, that's that one. Okay. Hmm. Oh, you must have already created these. I did this one. I'm, I'm, but when okay, I, how are these here? This I it, when I was most connected, I couldn't. I had, I had everything right, and just all of a sudden something went screwy. Okay, so here's what's weird, right? Is that you have, you have channel yeah. one. Okay, let me make sure I have this right. A E T R. Channel three. No, that's going to be fine. Okay, so for I. One, okay, okay. So I'm going to delete just because I don't know what's happening here. So I'm just gonna, yes. Uh, and then we'll go here, yes. And then here, yes. One, two, three, four. And that looks right. So now we're going to go here and we'll do it. I was trying to figure out how those were on there. I was like, maybe this new version adds those, but now I realize. Okay, so uh, we're going to call this one. So this is going to be an arm. 
And this is going to come in from the I uh, five. No trim is needed. Okay. Then we're going to go to channel six, and this will be uh, mode. And channel seven is going to be fail. This would be I seven. Okay. Okay, outputs. I guess this doesn't show me the current value. Which is fine. No, I didn't. That I didn't get no value. Yeah, I know. I'm just. I'm trying to figure here. So, so you should have. I assume this is going to work. So let me just do this. I can never. Okay. Now, I can't tell if this screen is, oh, there it is, okay. So, what I don't remember is if there's any sort of a, okay, so you're, okay, let's look at a few things here. So, you're running, um, this is actually, you're running, you're running a mob, that's a Mobula 7 Free Sky? Seven, yes. Okay, so the Mobula 7 Free Sky T16 is fine. Receiver is going to be number one. You got it in the two slots. That's okay. Uh, switch warnings. This is not how I think I have my, I don't know. I'll have to see. Um, I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Throttle, okay, everything's fine. Okay, so I think we're going to be good there. Now, I don't remember. I'm going to close that. I sure as heck hope it saves it. So I'm going to click to file and save. And I'm going to put this in your uh, downloads. All right, we got two minutes left. I'm basically buying time here. Trying to <laughs> trying to play around with stuff to make maybe make it easier for you while we have two minutes of download ready. Uh, so I'm just going to put this in here and hopefully under your X9 light, I'm going to make a folder here just called uh, models. Now there's going to be one in your SD card. This is one that I know we created prior to the SD card content. So I'm just going to put this as um, uh, uh, 031922. What is this? I don't need this. Okay. So let's save that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to write this to the radio. Okay. Now, I want to take this one and I want to delete it. And then I want to take, there it goes. That's what I want. Okay. So now I'm going to, again, write to the radio one more time. So write models to the radio one more time. Uh, and this normally should be checked. So now I'll do it. Uh, let's do that. Write to TX. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now the test will be if when we eject the radio, if this works. Now I wanna look at your radio settings real quickly. 
Uh, I want to click this here and just see what we have. Uh, okay. So you are stick mode is wrong. This stick mode should be stick mode two. Okay. Okay, that's right. Uh, we are in, I think everything else would be fine. You can adjust this as you want. Um, uh, adjust it correctly, but um, this is, this is, I don't want to, <laughs> you know, a better way this, I'm still new to. With my other ones, I'm, they're set. This one's new to me. Okay. Wait, so what's the question? I'm sorry, you, you cut out a little bit. What were you asking me? Oh, I was gonna, no, you can say set, set this one where you think it is. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, here's the deal. So a lot of this is just going to basically be like um, if you have beeper, you know, if you want your buzzers to go off. Uh, here is the big thing like this. Um, oh, my God, where to go? Because this is what annoys everybody. Uh, the um, inactivity. <laughs> okay. So you have it as 10 minutes. Um, that's fine. Nobody likes to hear that lady tell you that it's been inactive. She drives everybody nuts with the, you know. So I would just play with this a little bit. The main thing was getting your mode set. I'm not really worried about anything else. Um, so I don't think that that's going to be a problem. Uh, looking at your global functions, that's fine. Your calibration hasn't uh, necessarily been done yet. You need to do that, but do it from the radio. And because once it's done, then we can always save it. I think everything else is fine, though, so I wouldn't worry about it. Um, so let me just... Let me go down here and see. I don't think I'll store this real quick, I guess. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'll just close this down. Okay. So your SD card is done. So we're going to leave the computer. We're going to leave that plugged in and we're going to go to your SD card. So let's go here. There we go. Okay. This is what we downloaded. So we are going to take that. We are going to cut it. We'll put it here. Put it here. Bless you. Here. You won't be able to bind. So I just dawned on me. You're not going to be able to bind, depending on what ISRM you loaded. So I'm going to get you the firmware so that you can bind to that Mobula because if you load a 2.x, the Mobula won't run it. The Mobula has got to run 1.1. It's got to run the older version. Let's just put it like that. Okay. So I've got to get you downgraded on that. That's the only, and I think maybe you do have the firmware already downloaded, but if not, I'm just thinking, you know, you, that Mobula, I do them all the time and it will not run on a 2.x uh, firmware. Uh, all right. So let's go here. Uh, and then let's put your SD card contents right here. So let's click paste. All right, and we're going to make another folder here called uh, zip files. This is where you basically have all your backup of everything we've downloaded and anything you've downloaded uh, in the future, I guess. Okay, so the SD card contents, uh, let's extract. And this is where it's going to get kind of weird for you because if you if you had two drones, right, and you have a Mobula for a seven, for example, and you have like a new drone, like um, I don't know anything new, you would have an ISRM conflict. You would have one trying to run the new firmware and one trying to run the old one. You would have to keep upgrading and downgrading, okay, or else you'd have to put a module in the back. This is just going to be a one-time setup. My setup is on an XD9. 2019 plus. So this one, we're just do what we need to do. Okay. And <laughs> yeah, okay. there's gonna be no conflict. Okay. With this one is that radio that you is the X9 light specifically for the Mobula only? It, is the X9 light only for the module? Okay. Oh, okay. so it's only for this. Okay. Okay. Then we're gonna downgrade the firmware so that it works with that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so while that's X, while that, okay, now here's what I want you to do. I would, oh, you know what? Hold on. I might be able to do it from OpenTX Companion. Hold on a second. There is a cool thing here. Uh, I'm going to simulate the radio real quick. This is kind of neat. I, I don't know if this will work on everything, but I know it works for what, for most things. Okay, so I want to go to menu and hold it down. Okay.
There we go. Is it the 20th? No, you're a day off. Okay, I was like, man, I'm a day off. <laughs> I was got me scared for a second. Um, okay, so calibration we'll do later. What I want to do is I want to go right here. Okay, so now, um, okay, I don't know if I click this, does it move? That'd be neat. Um, crap. Okay, so I need to go back one. Can you roll? I, I don't know how to get this. I don't know what it. Let me see if I roll the mouse across the screen. No. I would like to see the next part, and I'm trying to figure out. Oh, let me wait. let me see if I can use. Um, okay, do the arrow buttons work? Maybe. Uh, this is driving me nuts. Okay, so let me click. Let me hold the page button down a second. Okay, uh, let me see if I use my mouse Sc scroll. Ah, oh, there it goes. Okay, so I want to see, and uh, let's click enter. Okay, um, that's great. So we will have to fix that. So let's go to exit, exit, exit. Okay, let's hit menu one time, click page. Okay, and then let's scroll. Okay, uh, we'll have to check this when we're, I guess when we're not plugged in because it's not giving me a reading right now and it has to be powered up. And so it's not gonna tell me what the firmware is, but just to be safe, I'm gonna go back and look at your uh, downloads that you've done. This is extracting, that's taken a long time. Uh, let me go back here to X9 Light, and then let's go, up one again and here's your i think your zip files yes okay access x9 light 2.1.6 what is this one it's like the earliest or one of the two earliest ones that downloaded Okay, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take these and drop them in the folder, but I'm not gonna use them because I'm gonna go to Free Sky's website just to make sure that I've got the right one, so we're not stuck in a uh, a binding mess. Um, so let me I'm just gonna right click on these and right click and cut. Okay, so transmitter. And then let's go to Eckstein Light. Okay, and your stuff is almost done there on the other side, so that's good. So we're gonna go to the zip file. Okay, now while that's going, bless you. Let me close the blinds
should be 1.1.3, I think. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so this is the one we want. So we're going to download this one, and this is going to be the one that we load on the radio. Okay. And while that's downloading, should go pretty quick. Oh, it's already done. Never mind. Okay, so ISRM 1.1.3. Um, I do not want this to extract here, so I'm going to take that file and we're going to take that and cut it. <clears throat> okay, and go to Cyclone FPV. Transmitter. Okay, so you have now both of them. So, I mean, theoretically, you'll have them both on the card. These two won't matter at all to you. Only ones that are going to matter is going to be 1.1.3 and 2.1.6. So I'm going to extract this one and that one and put them both and differentiate them just in case you ever need to. You don't have to reinvent the wheel to do this again. Okay, so we're going to extract this one and we will extract this one as well. So that should give me a full, there's that one. Okay, and then we're gonna go here. Okay. I'm going to close that. I'm going to take these two files that are extracted and this one, right click on those, left click on cut. <clears throat> cut. Now we're done with this folder entirely. So at least we're done with one, only one more left to go. And we're going to go to here. So on your, okay, you can close that now. Here we have Okay. There's a delay, so sorry. It usually doesn't take this long, but we have a little delay between on this, so sorry about that. Uh, should be done here in just a minute, though. I'm going to paste this here instead so you're not two two tiers down in the folder when you go to update it so there's that okay so let's delete this okay i'm going to go up one Okay, so your firmware for your radio is now configured, so it'll be on the memory stick properly. And the next thing will be to do your OpenTX the same way, so we're going to put that one real quickly. Then your SD card will be ready to upload, so then you will be ready to bind. All right, so let's folder, and let's do... Um,
open tx-fw. Okay. And we will take this here. Cut that. And paste. Okay. So there's that. All right. Now um, we will take, because you can't read that on the screen on the radio because it's too long of a funnel. So we're just going to highlight all this crap here and get this out. There we go. That should delete just a second. There we go. Okay. So now that's done. So the only thing left to do will be to go to your sounds. Uh, get rid of everything. But this one. Okay, so I don't want, well, never mind. Let me just do this here, make it easier. If your radio is making noise, just move the stick. Okay, that's in there. Perfect. Okay, so now this folder. What's that? Didn't stop. Oh, it didn't? No. Hold on. Let me see if I can do it here. There you go. Okay, so we've got everything cleaned up. So now all that basically is gonna happen is we've got your SD card done. Um, I'm curious, I don't think it will let me do it with the power off. So I'm just gonna close the simulator down uh, and I'm gonna close this. Now what I'm gonna do is, uh, do I wanna save it? Yes, save, 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 save. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to synchronize your SD card. So you have your SD card contents and we want to put this with your new volume, which is right here. Select folder and now start. Okay, so now we're going to synchronize the cards real quick. It'll take just a minute. And then when that's done, we'll um, disconnect the radio, we're doing a safe eject of the USB. Disconnect the radio. You will hit exit. You will get to that menu again where you can scroll down and go to exit. Hit exit. And then we should hear the voice. We should hear talking. We should hear the audible saying open T or welcome to open TX. Okay. From there, I'm going to just tell you how to do. I don't know how familiar you are uh, with doing the firmware. You have an X9D plus, right? Um, well, yeah, my other one, yes. So it's this, if you're familiar with that, it's the same. I'll walk you through this one, it takes two seconds, just to get your ISRM down, because once that's done, you should be able to bind with no problem, but we want to- Oh get yeah, I have no issue with that. I just couldn't fix this. Oh, okay, okay. So, well then, as soon as, so we're, done, we're, done. As soon as we're done with this, we'll be done, okay? Uh, so on your memory card, when you go to your menu and you do your, you know, your firmware, and you uh -huh. go to the FreeSky TX firmware, Make sure that you select a 1.1.3 folder and make sure that you tell it to flash the internal module. That's it. Once you do that, you should be able to power it on, bind, and you're done. Oh, good. Great. So I'm going to uh, just wait for this to copy. Uh, it should be done here in just a sec, I guess. Yeah, the other part, which I, yeah, I have no, I have no problems doing this. With this one, I just, I didn't realize how much of a, uh, uh, in depth, I'm going to get into this. It happens. It happens. I thought it was going to be the same as mine. It's not. Well, I mean, the yeah, it's it. 
once once this part's done, running the two side by side are going to be almost identical. Okay, so we have no errors, so that should be good. So now um, all I'm going to do is do a safe eject here, and then as long as I hear it, whoops, as long as I hear it start up, uh, eject, and then let me do this one, eject. Okay, you should be able to unplug it. Welcome to OpenTX. Awesome. That was it. Okay, so I'll leave it to you from there. I'm going to send you, do you have any other questions? Do you want me to do, is there anything else you want me to do before I let you go? No, nope. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna go on to our ticket that we created for you, send you the uh, PayPal thing to send for the friends and family for the $45, okay, okay? and we'll call it a day. Okay. Uh, listen, if you have anything okay. else, you let me know, uh, but thank you very much. I'm going to, before, I'm going to, I'm going to stop the screen sharing real quick. So let me do stop participant sharing. There you go. All right. So we're done. Uh, all right, my friend, have a safe evening. Take care. Thank you, brother. Bye.